Hello, so raise your hand if as a child you attended some sort of Jewish recreation program. Okay, great. I did too. So I grew up in Germany and I am part of our community, the ZWSD here. So in ZWSD you get to join programs and activities created by teenagers in the community. So in other words, people older than you. So you get to join those programs and people get together every winter and summer holidays. So on those winter or summer uh, camps, you get to join programs. Those are also programs or maybe also activities. So I've been to activities which were very interesting, although they were very, very educational. I almost always had fun. But I've also been to, to youth programs that were not so interesting because they maybe weren't age appropriate or something. So I'm sure you can relate to this if you have also been to programs like this one. So looking back, I experienced programs of many, many different kinds. Many of them very interesting and many of them not so much. After many years of only attending ZVSD activities, I joined BBYO because I wanted to try something new. As many of you know, in ZVSD you get to join programs created by other teenagers that are probably always the same age as you or just a tiny bit older. So I wanted to, to join BUYO also because I've never been to the United States before and I wanted to just, you know, try something new. New people, new everything. So after attending those BUYO activities, many of teenagers in my community were very, very confused because they tried to judge the new experience. They were very, like, they were confused of the new ways that this new experience brings because it was very different than our community back home. So, after that, I realized that what we were looking at were two different models of uh, Jewish education. One was mentorship and one was peer leadership. So, uh, in one, the teenagers get to plan the programs and in the other one, it's more of the older ones. So, I'll tell you a secret. When I started brainstorming for this talk, my goal was to find the best of these for the Jewish education. But after lots and lots of thinking, I realized that comparison isn't useful. One of them, mentorship, is good for, because the mentors can um, talk to you about, for example, their experience. They can like, trans transmit the religious, um, they can do tr uh, religious transmission. So for example, they can like, pass um, traditions from one generation to the next. In peer leadership, teens get to uh, plan and collaborate on the same level, on the same level because they're at this, uh, most times the same age as you are. So after lots and lots and lots of thinking, I realized that both experiences are great, and it's not it's not right to compare them because one is good for one thing and one is good for for another thing. So I realized so that the best for Jewish education is not just one model it can be different things because they can be used for different things. So what I'm taking out of that is that you don't have to be scared of trying new things because trying new things can help us grow. Because uh, if we just focus on one thing and don't try new things our whole life, we can't grow and finding new things to try, it's like you grow out of it and you learn new people. So just don't be scared to try new things. Thank you so much.